Yeah, I'm going to be doing uh, writing a new comic called the, called Kill the Wonder Hawks um, for uh, Paper and Plastic Records, which is a record label owned by Vinny Fiorello from Less Than Jake. Um, so the uh, I had uh, talked to Vinny before because he had read uh, The Great Sandwich Detective, and he said, "Hey, you know, we're going to start doing web comics over at the record label." you know, would you be interested in doing one? And I said, absolutely. And I pitched him this idea that me and uh, my artist, Aaron Pittman, had come up with uh, you know, a while back that we'd been wanting to do, uh, where it's just a really ridiculous, like we took 80s and like 70s and 80s Japanese teen team cartoons and Americanized it and bastardized it and just made them, uh, they're squeaky clean heroes to the public, but they truly are just total bastards um, and kind of like what they do at our comics they bastardize them we do we bastardize your Canadian comics with Michael Sarah uh, you guys your guys is only Canadian comic if I'm if I'm correct that's the only comic ever made in Canada there's at least two though there's okay. at least one like North Guard Alpha, or Alpha Flight yeah. Alpha Flight Captain team. Canuck yeah um, just really over the top and violent and it's it's been uh, a little liberating to do something that isn't uh, isn't rated PG. Um, it isn't about sandwich detectives. It's not basically. about detectives or sandwiches. Um, so I'm hoping that I'm that uh, my all ages audience won't won't uh, start hating me. But um, I promise that I have some some uh, some exciting kid stuff to announce soon. I just can't talk about that yet. Do you want to sort of refute the perception that you're only good at doing stories about sandwich detectives? Is that kind of your mission here? No, it's just that I realized over the past year that, um, you know, I, if I'm, you know, as a creator, I, I, if I come up with stuff, I can't just not do it. And I know that a year ago, my, my big statement was that I, I wasn't going to do anything that kids couldn't read. Sure. But I think I wasn't giving adults enough credit when I, you know, that they would, they would know what to allow their kids to read. And so I'm kind of letting the parents make the decisions now, and they should know that uh, they shouldn't be probably shouldn't be letting kids read a comic called Kill the Wonder Hawks. Um, anyways, so I'm, I'm not too concerned, and I feel like, you know, I have some really good stories that I want to tell, um, you know, that, that are going to take me out of the all-ages area, but, um, you know, I, I'm doing this because I want to I want to create, um, so there's going to be some times where I, I just have to do what I want to do, um, and it's not going to be for everybody, um, but, um, you know, like I said, do, in no way is this the end of the Great Sandwich Detective. Is no in no way is this the end of me doing all ages stuff. Um, you know, I got some some all ages stuff that's gonna keep me very busy into the next year probably. Um, just waiting on uh, the green light to be able to talk about that stuff. But it's really exciting. It's gonna be a good uh, good year. More secret projects. That's great. Even more secret projects. So just when I finally was able to talk about one. <laughs> They're gonna, get, they're dumping more on me that I can't talk about, um, and it's this is like this is like one of those ones where I had to sign a contract that I couldn't talk about it. So they mean business. And what happens if you violate the contract? Uh, I will be put in the ocean. Um, <laughs> I don't know what's what? gonna placed, happen. Placed, placed gently be, in the ocean. Placed into the ocean. I don't know what I'm gonna do when I'm there. <laughs> And I'm assuming it's part of the ocean that's going to be very hard, or at least a burden to get home. 